You're watching RVT Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. Up next on RVT, Rashid's Video Tube, it's the Rashid and Jan Show. Following that is Rashid Cyber Tube. It's that season of all seasons once again. And as Shison lingers on, let us share and care and enjoy amazing Rashid entertainment that's found only here. On RVT, where it's Rashid all the time. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. Hello everybody, this is Rashid. And I want to personally thank you so much for so many YouTube subscribers. And together with the millions of views on my Google page, I think it's safe to say we're well on our way, huh guys? Thanks for making RVT so successful. So I tell you what, you keep doing what you do, and we'll do the same round here. Deal? Deal. So relax. This is RVT, Rashid's video tool. Where's Rashid all the time? Oh, what an atmosphere. RVT want to wish you a very happy shyston season.
This RVT Rashid's video 2 broadcasting is brought to you partly by the Rashid and Jan show and by delicious refreshing strawberry milk. Drink an explosion of strawberry flavor in every drop. So like Rashid and Jan say, drink up. You're watching RVT Rashid's Teletube Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashi's RVT. You're watching RVT. An international broadcasting station. You're watching RVT Rashid's video too. Oh, what an atmosphere. Hello, and this is Father Rashid. And knowing that this is the season for nothing but pure love and giving, I want to wish you a very happy Shaisa. Get ready and save on Rashid's RVT Supermarket and Half Price and Savings, where you can save up to 40 to 50% off with coupon. And don't forget to check your circulars for money grabbing savings. Whole chicken tender poultry, just $9.99 or less. Or tender lamb and steak chops, now $7.99 or less at some dealer. Fresh cut watermelon, orange juice, $6.99. Fresh vegetables, so you don't ever have to wonder what's for dinner. Whether it's hot pizza or fruit, specially cut poultry, pork, beef, or chops. Fresh milk, all available for a reasonable price. Chuck shoulder roast, $3.69 a pound. Chunky soup, two for $3. Freshness right at your fingertips. And you can now shop online and have your groceries delivered to your door. Dice cut from the grocers to your freezer to the dinner table. Buy one get one free fresh plucked strawberries or $2.99 a pound rump roast, crispy bacon, and a Rashi R Man advertiser for boneless beef chuck roast, $2.49. Dazzle your taste buds as you rack up on savings. And don't forget about the RVT reminder of ordering online. Supermarket savings and more are what you're going to get. So get shopping. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Are you ashamed to be on public assistance? Many are. And if you're one of them, take note. There's no reason to be ashamed. Public assistance is there for us. So the next time you may feel ashamed, remember, there's no pride in substantial living. Because we all count. I'm Rashid, and it's an honor to bring this to you.
You're watching RVT, an international broadcasting station. Look on your social devices. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's my cheese mansion's mouse. And I want to help you guys get a good night's rest. Take a look. Ugh, my back. Oh, oh. Why should you guys suffer with stiff back, achy joints, and so on from a worn out mattress? There are hundreds of affordable mattress dealers in your area. And all is needed is you. Reliable mattresses that fit your comfort level. Spring design style, chic and firm. Thank you, Rashi Mattress Moles. Anytime, an RET ad is worth two in a hole. And speaking of ads, don't forget about this one. And size your bedding up for comfort. A new mattress and a good night's rest awaits you. Just go to www.mattress.com. That's www.mattress.com uh, Anyway! Isabella, Rashid's startling adventurous computer novel created and written by Rashid. A Rashid Greek mythology story narrated by Rashid himself. Now streaming on RVT Rashid's video tube. Come follow along today. Controversial. Defiant. Supernatural. Or subliminal are just a few discussional qualifications that's found on Rashid's RVT documentaries, sharply enlightening your environment around you. A fascinating look at the world around us. Hi, I'm Rashid. Whether newsworthy or not, join us as we tackle some of the most questionable topics of our time on Rashid's documentaries. Now streaming on RVT. Yeah, I could cover that. Why is delicious hot oatmeal so good for so many families? Oatmeal is rich in protein. A breakfast with Delicious oatmeal with milk and sugar for a family of four provides as much total protein as six average eggs. As much total protein as 18 pieces of toast. And almost as total protein as 18 strips of bacon. That's why your family get that wonderful stick to the ribs feeling with hot oatmeal. That wonderful feeling of well-being with only one minute of actual cooking time. 
So be sure your family get the protein they need with the delicious hot breakfast of hot oatmeal. Just go over to www.oatmeal.org. That's www.oatmeal.org. Okay, okay, let me evaluate some wisdom here. First off, a Rashid woman never gets upset over anything I say or do. Ever. Ever! RVT. Rashid's video too. Serving nations worldwide. You're watching RVT, an international broadcasting station. So I was cruising, turfing, whatever, doing absolutely nothing, saying nothing either. Then I came across Rashid's RVT. Then I asked, what is this, who is this, and why is this? Then it made me smile. Not necessarily like the famous Hollywood scenes of Robert De Niro and Poppers now, and not like a train wreck either. That's a different type of entertainment that doesn't focus on the obvious. It's plain Rashid, Rashid's video too. So stop being afraid. <laughs> oh, I feel so terrible. What's the matter, guy? Oh, you wouldn't understand. Oh, come on, it can't be all that bad. Okay, if I must, Rashid, I'll tell it to you. I have no sweets this year. You have no sweets? Well, that's not good. No, it's not good at all. I want something sugary. I want something delicious. Here, Sai, dear. Try some chocolate bites. Chocolate bites? Yup, chocolate bites. Tiny chocolate bits wrapped up. After dinner or evening leisure. They're great. Hmm, chocolate bites. Hey, guy. Yeah? Are you feeling any better? Long as I get my chocolate bites. I know, I know. So guys, when you're out, pick some up. It's great. Put it on this, spread it on that. A little on this and a whole lot of that. Everything's better with butter. Whip it on this, a little on that. Smear it on this and square it on that. Everything's better with butter. Now you can square it up with butter or margarine. Electrify your taste buds with the rich and satisfying taste of butter. Whip it on this, graze it on that. Square it on rice now that's. Where is that? Everything's better with butter. Now get to the grocers and square it up. Also in spray style to go easy on bread. Hello, and this is Father Rashid. And knowing that this is the season for nothing but pure love and giving, I want to wish you a very happy Shaisa. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT.
Your adventure starts here. Luggage from top names over 65% off. Just surf over to www.luggage.com. That's www.luggage.com. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. The following presentation is brought to you by the Rashid and Jan Show, now streaming on YouTube, Google Plus, and other social media platforms. And now, enjoy the show. Hey everybody, welcome to RVT. This is RVT, Rashid's video tube in conjunction with RMJC, Rashid's Music Jukebox Center, which I sing on, and y'all know that. In conjunction with, well, this found on YouTube, Google+, Instagram, and other social media platforms. And I am Rashid Arman coming on live. Almost nailed that, by the way. Almost nailed that, but, oh well. Things uh, sometimes uh, go wayward, but I do the best I can with, stra with staying on track. How you doing, sweetie? You all right? All right. So, guys, I'm glad you guys are here, man. Now, listen. This is an interesting show right here. This is not really a show. It's just, well, in a way, it's a show. I guess you can, it may, you can, you can say it's a show. Yeah, it's a show. But it's a different kind of show. It's more like a a um, a uh, what, what do you call those things? A a discussional show rather than a show show like so it's actually animation coming up. I have a movie coming up, Thumbprint, that's coming up, guys. And uh, I know you guys are going to love that movie. I'm taking um, necessarily precautions of it with it, so it can be. Of our liking. So I'm taking my time with the other words. Patience is the key. Honey draws the flies, not garlic. I don't want to tell you where I heard that from because y'all might get offended and say, you know, that's not right because we don't. Why would you quote for those guys after, you know? I was, um, and I have a pre, yeah, I was going to say I have a pre-cartoon coming up too, um, Outback Rod, that's a pre-cartoon, I got to work on two, one for recreation, Outback Rod is a recreation, like I told you guys, I'm on vacation until Monday, until tomorrow, this will be on Sunday. You should you supposed to be looking at this on Sunday for Sunday. So I'm on vacation to till Monday. And um I'm enjoying it. I really am. But I can't I don't wanna leave R V T sit we need things to look at. And I think this is an interesting topic because it's a lot I I have to say about this topic. You know? And I don't know any platforms or no avenues today that's available that we can really let, like, feel expressionable, expression, expressionative, <laughs> expressionative or bull, whatever, or opinionated, um, um, uh, experiences with this topic because I believe in theater I believe in cinema 
and it's linked on to us sitting back and people looking at something now it's a lot of um down with talk when it comes to paganism for some reason I know right sweetie it's like this paganism thing is they say okay that's back in like um, that's where the, the, the middle ages the renaissance when the renaissance came in paganism was you know so it's a lot of speculatory opinions about paganism and that's where this Hollywood comes in at which is created by the Jews, and y'all know that. That's nothing new. Uh, the Jewish, rather than Jews, y'all know. And um, no matter who created or not, what have you, you cannot deny that us as humans, well, you guys as humans, because we, yeah, don't don't bring that shit over here. But you can, you can, you you get for you guys, the humans, period. Love entertainment. We just like it. We just we crave it. We, I mean, what would the world be without entertainment? We talking. Well, we might as well say there's no recreation in, because it takes a lot of work to bring forth entertainment. It takes a lot of work to bring forth the entertainment. It's not an easy field. You gonna get up there and do something stupid. And still you'll get somebody looking at you like, this is a movie called A Brother From Another Planet. Now, y'all remember A Brother From Another Planet from the 80s and shit. I don't know what year it came out, but I know in the 80s, that's when, it, that's when we saw it, shit. And there was one scene on there when a, when a black brother was looking at this guy. And he was throwing himself up against this iron gate. You know how the stores close and they, and they, and they lower this iron gate to protect the store? Well, this, this nigga was throwing himself up against it, slamming his fucking face and head. And he ain't giving, obviously the guy was strung on drugs or some shit. And the brother from another planet, the guy from another planet was just sitting there staring at him. But to him, it was entertainment to see this, this motherfucker throwing himself up against this iron fucking gate in front of the store. Over and over again for no reason. And in the background, they had somebody doing poetry or some shit. So the scene was very iconic. When you look at brother, when you look at the movie Brother from Another uh, Planet, why it never went into detail why he did why the motherfucker was doing it, but he was doing it. Okay, he was doing it. Now, that was entertaining. See, you could go up there, and you don't have to be professional just to have an audience to just look at you. It could be. I don't know. It, uh, do you know accidents are entertainment? Come on, sweetie. You know accidents? Like somebody get hit by a car. You get people standing around. Now, I'm not saying they be entertained, but they st still... See, people like to look at shit is what I'm trying to say. To make a long story short, sweetie, you know that. People like to look at stuff. Now we have this, this magnificent invention. That this is not you can you can point your finger at a race of people or a person do, but then you go somewhere else and it's gonna change right up. It's almost like a what's something you point at and then you turn your back and you turn back to it and it's different. Name something, sweetie. I don't know. Etch a sketch or something. It's you know it's you can point your who invented the internet. It's just one person. That's a bunch of bullshit. It's a bunch of bullshit. It came from, first it's one person. Then it came from the Navy Yard. Then it came from two guys. Then it came, all right. But basically, it's it's, cut, it's an Indian in a chink. It's something who invented the internet. Indian in a chink. All right, we got that. The Google or whatever. So, you go somewhere else and it's this and this and this. It doesn't really matter. Because we have it here. Now, here's the thing about it. It's causing a division. <coughs> Is causing a division within the within society in family houses is causing a division. You understand? And within ourselves is causing a division. Like I said before, in my opinion, it will be impossible, almost impossible, for me to be a Christian and still have some. If I was still a Christian. 
especially Jehovah's Witness, it'd be impossible if for me to just be a strict Christian the way I was and to have social media in front of me. That's a, that'd be almost an impossible task. It'd be just almost impossible. I'll be sinning. I mean, Jesus' sacrifice will be will really be put to work. I mean, I swear that's that loaf of bread will be that bread will be put to work because I'll be one sinning son of a bitch with this social media right now and me being trying to be a strict Christian. It's almost a, man. There's no goddamn way I could. But anyway, anyway. Now. We have it here, this social media, and it's causing division. More than half the people, believe it or not, don't have social media. This is, this is in general. This is in general. It's less people. I mean, it's people that have. Now, when I say they don't have it, some people have it, but don't use it. They don't want to use it because it's this reading and writing bullshit. They cannot tolerate the reading and writing bullshit. They can't tolerate it. It's a pain in the ass. Every goddamn thing is reading and writing. Every goddamn thing basically is writing and keying. Spelling. Especially the spelling thing. You got to have spell check it. You got to get the words correctly to direct you to your websites the right way. You have to spell correctly. It's a pain in the ass. But to me, in our opinion, around here it's the most inflammation it's it's uh, really it's the most immaculate of all inventions of of anything nobody knows really how it got here i mean and it's something that people is not going to admit that people in high places the masses or whoever are not going to come out and admit we don't know where the fucking shit this came from this telephone shit so we don't know where it came from but yet that's the truth nobody really knows where it came from because it's not one avenue you say who invented the telephone you right away say alexander graham bell and and some say the italian invented the first telephone you see right there is something you know right there is something who invented the uh, um the airplane the brothers the, the the um you know the brothers invented the the airplane thing i forgot their name but they they invented the airplane the brother thing and you always go to somebody but Social media. There's nobody there. There's nobody really there you can really go to and say this person. So, it's a really, really controversial um, instrument that we have here, that we're dwelling in, that's taken up our time. It's destroying our lives. You have to really know how to deal with it. You have to really know how to handle social media. You have to handle it. Because you can see it's something that you have to handle. It's something you can't just take lightly. Because you're going to get really addicted to this thing. Because it's really amazing. Amazing. For the people that's really into it, like myself. I mean, it's a really amazing. Uh, um, um, spectacular. Motor. And in, in terms of people communicating with each other. Or just happening to want your voice to be heard in some kind of way that some people never had their voice heard but now they're heard and this is very powerful in so many lives and the people that don't like social media have to realize this and understand this see understanding is the first key of healing of getting to like, say you don't get along with your son, or you don't get along with your daughter, you don't get along with your mother or father. Understanding will break down that wall. You understand? So when you, this is hatred against social media or what have you, understanding will break down that wall. No matter what the social media did, ruin a marriage or whatever, you have to understand what it is. You have to understand that before I wasn't this way, but now I'm this way. So you have to understand that and then work in courtness with that and it will break down a wall. But you got to want to do it, you know. But that's how powerful that we people are who want to see something. We just got to see from birth. It's these things they hang upside your bait out up above 
<clears throat> your baby crib. And they spin around in their little puffy um, elephants and giraffes. And a baby be in the crib looking at it, playing with it. See, you got to look at something to keep them quiet. Keep them quiet, entertain. See, we're pro as, as infants that we got to see something. Just to, You got to rock a baby. You know, you got to feel something. You, you know, that's who we are, guys. We can't run from it. And no matter what they try to do, take it, we'll always find a way to get entertained. Because this is who we are. That's what we like to do. And for, for, for the people that like to do it, we don't know why. We just do it. It's part of who we are as being living mechanisms. You understand that? So, we have this social media here. Now, we covered that. Now, I'm going to take you on a trip. Because we want to see what's the significance between this social media. Well, compared to social media in the past. Now social media in the past we didn't have any basically we did but if it did it was in locked doors whatever but basically it was a telephone they had personal computers back in the 80s but you had to have a lot of money to have these things and we all know that but we had something very infantile that was like social media and that was the Viewmaster and that's bringing us compared to the Viewmaster Compared to the Viewmaster, compared to the way we used to live our life, I hope I'm saying that right, but the way we was living our life and the Viewmaster was in our life, how do we feel when we came across, in other words, the Viewmaster? How do we feel inside? Well, I got to look inside and see what it looks like, you see. It was an urge more than anything, more, more than cowboy, Indian, more than army men, the green army men that was out, and all of these toys. We came across the room, man, Viewmaster. All right, let me look inside there. You see, you see, it was very powerful. You see, you wanted to see it. It don't seem like it was powerful, but it was. It was. And when you look through there, you was amazed. So, social media, until we had the Viewmaster that was around back a long time ago. The Viewmaster. So, what do they have in common? Now, pay no mind to the rabbit. Now, that rabbit right there is what I created. Now, I'm going to tell you why I created that rabbit. I'm going to tell you why I created that rabbit. I created that rabbit. <clears throat> First of all, I got my notes right here. Baby, where are my notes at? My baby, my, my, Cindy, you, you thought that I should create something for this. If you know, if you notice know around RVT, I have a lot of rabbits. I have the the um, RLJC when I'm singing. It's a rabbit hole thing on the wall, you know. Now here's another rabbit. They, I, I wanna, I wanna have them all around RVT. I just, I just wanna have them all around RVT. Now this one, this rabbit name is Lucky. Now I'm thinking about doing something with him on Rashid Cyber Two. I don't know. I don't know, but. I, I created that for this show right here. His name is Lucky Rabbit, and um, I guess he'll be around while we discuss this. Because it's along the lines of the Viewmaster material. They had some reels that was very serious that you put into the Viewmaster. But we'll talk about that later. I always liked the animation cartoon, the animated cartoon. Kind of. I, didn't, I didn't really go for like... 1,000 leaves under the sea, which I'll show you later on. And I ain't go for that. I wanted the animated cartoon uh, Viewmaster reels. And any particular kid did, too. They didn't care for that real serious shit. I got on one child who really liked that serious stuff. Well, they had a lot of serious uh, reels of uh, Viewmaster slides to go in. And what's funny about these slides, they right next to the film. When you go look at them on social media, they're, they're right next to the film. You know, so it's like a film. It's really a, a neat invention, this Viewmaster thing. Now, I'm going to get information about it next time uh, we do a show about Viewmaster. Because like I told you, I'm not going to stop doing shows about this. Because because of Viewmaster, I'm on social media. I got I have that, that lit. You know, it's almost like um, when I was younger, I was lit. But now that I'm older, the lit is rekindling because of social media. You know what I mean? Because it's lit, it was lit because of the Viewmaster. 
And now in Philly, when, when my dad, my dad, my doctor dad, he always brought home toys. He always brought home all of these. He brought, when you go to a thrift store, you know, hammy store, hammy down store, uh, in the back, way the fuck in the back on the floor, he had these bags of toys. And the parents just go there and grab a bag, and it was like it was only like a dollar, two dollars, but they came with all this to- shit in it. It wasn't one thing; it was just bags of toys that they had on the ground, on the floor, in the back of the store, against the wall. Just bags of toys. The parents just go there, look, and just grab a bag and pay for it. It's only like two bucks, three bucks. And they always came with a viewmaster inside. I swear, they always came with a viewmaster inside of them, always. Because we didn't have a lot of money coming up, my parents didn't have the income to go out and buy these slides for these viewmasters. So I had to take what the what the viewmaster came the, when the viewmaster came. It came with a reel inside it. So whatever the reel was, I had to take whatever that was. And nine times out of ten, it was good shit. And they had other reels inside the bag also. See, my dad picked that out because he know we like to watch television. He know we was artists. You know, I like to draw pictures and all. So he picked that out. He, he picked those bags out to have you masters in it. So anyway, I was lit. I was lit. Okay, I was lit. And this rabbit right here. It's the shit I'm talking about. This rabbit right here. Because these, I want to make my own. I want to make my own cartoon. Now, if y'all notice, my car- our cartoons around RVT are different than other animations that you see. I know they're, they're the worst. They almost, I'm not going to say they're on the top worst cartoons that I do with my hands or on this um, computer thing. But we've seen cartoons that's way worse than Rashid shit. You don't even you can't even tell that they uh a boy and a girl. They look like little monsters or monkeys or whatever. So at least you could tell my shit is a man or a woman and shit. Even though it's and they look very childish but yet and still yet and still I want to create my own style of cartoon like the Viewmaster. I, I want I, I know that sounds crazy because I'm a claymation person and my 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 people my babies just shit Rashid don't fuck with claymation on social media and I understand why and everything we and we give everything to social media and my cult we won't have nothing you know but yet it's still I created that rabbit if I created that rabbit I could create characters like that and of anything it doesn't matter what it is I could just create like that I want my shit to look like that damn uh, viewmaster shit cuz see that's the that's what I was raised on I'm prone to that I'm used to that and if I can do that that will be a magnificent thing and then I want to learn how to like right now it's taking a long time to do thumbprint I'm going to speed up my activity since getting a ground foundation then being able to speed up my process. But the rabbit right there is what I'm talking about. I want to make my own Viewmaster, um, my my animation like the Viewmaster. See, these are now this is the Flintstones. This is, you see this right here? No. You may not know it or not, but that's some scary shit right there. I'm going to tell you why it's scary. Because if you remember, if you grew up in the 70s and you've seen this, you will know that it was a lot of things around back then that's not around now. And one of those things were the most scariest groundhouse movies. And for some reason, this right here, you thought about that area in entertainment of you know, shadow and dark and gloomy kind of cartoon thing because that was out back then. You had Phantasm that was out. That was like a dark groundhouse movie. Well, it's not really a groundhouse movie, but it's a dark movie. And you had a lot of other um, movies that were out that was out that we saw the previews for the house on the haunted hill and all of these things and they were dark even the disney animation was dark escape from witch mountain 
and that darn cat and a cat from out of space and all of these things. There were some then when you came across a few master, you you didn't think really childish childish. You just thought like, you know, this is kinda creepy, you know. But that's the era we was living in back then. See now you don't have that now. You know, kids don't gotta work. Now it's just violence for them now. The 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 animation is real bright. It's not dark. They're not dark. And there's a lot of violence in it or smart, sarcastic bullshit. They know every fucking thing. And y'all know that. That's what kids are dwelling on now. But we had something different. We had stuff like this. And this stuff here was kind of creepy to us. Because it just freaked us out. That's what I want to do around RVT. I'm going to do my shit like that. So I don't care about doing my animation. And, and people, they, the difference with Rashi animation is my animation is really bright. It's really incredibly bright. Around RVT. Animation aren't isn't that really bright with bright colors in today's world and on social media. But my animation is really bright. That's what I want. See, I'm trying to mold it into this view mess. I I am determined to conquer this view master thing. I want the, the graphicness of it. I want the the edge, the the like the taste of Hey, this is kind of, this is not scary, but it's kind of, you know, it, it's, it, it, it's, tap, it's tapping my nerve in a way of being, all right, this ain't like a dysfun dysfunctional thing I'm looking at, but it's kind of warped. This, and, uh, this thing right here is corked. I know the difference between a good animation for children or something good for children and this. For example, I can go up. I know, I'll give you an example. I could wake up and say I could watch Gumby on television, right? Now, y'all know what Gumby is. The Gumby, Gumby, Gumby and Pokey, you know, this claymation thing. Then when I pick up a Viewmaster, I can see the difference between a Gumby animation and a Viewmaster, and a Viewmaster animation. It's darker. It's more, I don't know, it's just more thrilling. Like a thriller, it's more thrilling, it's more realistic, it's more creepy, something creepy about it. And that's what I'm trying to develop around with my animation on RVT. I want that. I don't want to imitate like Disney, and I don't want to imitate like, well I ain't going to even put Disney in it. Disney don't compare to animations, because he's king and shit, Disney's king, but... I don't want to, I don't want my animation, I don't want to take after nobody else's animation. I want something that we never seen before. I mean, I could go into animation. Y'all know Rashi. Y'all know I'm an anime and I do that. And what's the what's what good is it, in my opinion, to go into animation and be just like my next door neighbor? Because all you're gonna do is wind up fighting them. You understand? That's all you're gonna do is wind up fighting them. All they gotta do is knock on your next door neighbor door and say, "Hey, look, this guy over here biting your shit. He he ripping you off. He he got his shit for you." Now I don't care about that because people rip Rashid off all the time. Y'all see my ideas all over the fucking place. Y'all know that. That's not a mystery. I don't give a fuck about that. But I'm saying when it comes to anything specific like animation, if you be like your next door neighbor, all they gonna do, all you gonna do is start start fighting each other. You gonna just start fighting each other. Alright, my animation better than yours. Mine is better than yours. And it's bullshit. See, I'm going to get away from all of that. I'm going to get away from all of it. I want something the world have never seen before. I want this Viewmaster shit. I'm after this Viewmaster shit, guys. I'm going to stop right there and take a break. I'm after this Viewmaster stuff right here. That's what I want. I want that. I want that. I could go to like, what's that, what's the um, UK animation, and that's too fucking weird, then when you go over to India, that, and see that, that's too weird anime, that's too weird, I don't want to go too weird like that, because it's, it's, but it's not weird to the Indian, or the, the UK, because they, that's they fucking shit, that's they fucking shit, but if you western, like me, you know, from the western part, it looks weird because you're not. I don't know. I don't know. They they think we weird, you know. So you know, it's it's confrontational. I can't really really put my finger on it, but it's a, it's a thin demortation 
between what's weird and what's not weird when it comes to art. It's a very thin demarcation. So I'm not even going to go into, uh, you know, like the difference between this, that, or that, and the other. I'm not going to do that. But I just want my animation to be different. And, and I don't want it to be like UK. And I don't want it to be like India. Because India, they got a lot of religion in their animation. A lot of places around the world um, got a lot of religion in their animation. And I just think, and they think that American animation is stupid. Because it talks about stupid things. And this is what a lot of UK think. And the, Jap and the or Japanese people think that, that it's stupid that now I was married and my wife put me there. They think it's well, most of them, some of them, most of them say it's ridiculous to have an animal walking around acting like a human. See, they ain't got that shit over Japan. They ain't got that shit in China. You never see no animals in, over there walking around acting human like Yogi Bear and uh, Foghorn Leghorn. And I say, I say, boy, what you doing over there? Boys got no sissy. They think all that's silly because they, they, they don't make animals act like people over UK. You know, that's, what, that's an American thing. That's a, that's a Jew thing. That's an American thing. You won't see them over there doing that. You don't see no animals walking around. They got Hello Kitty, but, um, you know, I never seen a Hello Kitty cartoon. Maybe people did. I never. We, that's what I'm saying. We never did. I've seen... Um, anime on Saturday morning with our last one with Fox Kids, Four Kids TV. They had Do Re Me and they have like little strange putties talking. They have that before they have an animal walking around talking. For some reason Japan just don't go for that shit. The Chinese don't go for no animal walking around talking like a person. They just don't go for the shit. But America, every other cartoon is an animal. Shit. Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, you know, all that shit. And they don't play that. You know, um, Orientals really don't play that. Not that much. They ain't gonna say they don't have it, but they don't have much of it. They have anime people doing shit. They don't got that cartoon walking around acting like a person thing. See, these things, I, I want to get away from all of them. I want to do something different. I want to break a barrier in animation. And that's what your experience around RVT. And I just wanted to talk about that because it's so important. And these Viewmasters held uh, a very, very special, hold a very special period in our life. We have history. I have history. How could you not have history with this Viewmasters? How could you not fucking have history with this thing? How? I don't understand it. And you had different reels. You have different reels. You know, you wasn't stuck to one kind of reel. One of the when you put it in, the left and the right one coincide with each other and makes it look 3D. And it comes out just amazing. You understand? When you walked into the store, and I swear now we had now I grew up in Philly in the 70s. When you walked into the into a store and you saw a viewmaster hanging up, you could walk right over there and put your head and look and click it and see what the I broke my neck because because to me it was like a mo a free movie slide inside of a store that if you go over there to this section and find a viewmaster. It's hanging there. You could go pick it up. And each one with different slides in it. It was amazing to walk in the store and see them hanging there like that. And you just, Mom, I'll be right back, Mom. I'll be right. You just got to go over there and grab it. <coughs> so, these things hold treasures in our life that's with us. And maybe that's why we're carrying on with the social media. And we don't know why, because the this show is, this discussion is, what what makes social media and the viewmaster? What do they have in common? What do they? What's going on here with the with social media and the viewmaster from the past? They have viewmasters now. You want to see the viewmasters today? The view the viewmasters today are, are like this. 
would you believe that they like virtual reality now they got virtual reality for your cell phone and I had a chance to get that but we turned it down we turned it down I could wait I can I can wait I'm not I, I mean it's not like I'm, I'm on a roll right now. There'll be more shit to carry around. Because then I'll be walking around saying, I don't want nothing to happen to my virtual reality. And I got enough shit to carry around. And it's not that important. I tried it already. And they had this game in the 80s. In the late 70s. I'm sorry, the late 70s. That was the 3D game like I'd never seen before. They had spaceships. And you, you, you look into it like a Viewmaster. But it wasn't a Viewmaster. And you, I mean, I swear you won't believe what you're looking at. You don't, you were, and the whole thing was shaped like a spaceship. Thing. It was the blue game. And yet maybe some of y'all remember what I'm talking about. But all in all, all in all, make a long story short. I ain't gonna break off in all kind of shit now. I'm gonna keep you on track. We have virtual reality now for telephones. And how that works is. It comes with a box that you put your cell phone inside the box. Once your cell phone is inside of this little handheld box, you place the box on your head. And what you see on your cell phone screen is the virtual reality thing the box produces. Their box costs like $30, something like that. But they look like that. They look something like that right there. And you see the cell phone sitting next to it. Now that's the Viewmaster thing. It, the Viewmaster have have evolved to something like to something like that, which y'all looking at on the screen. I didn't get a chance to get information, but on this show, I will go into detail and show you how this works and all. Because I, you know, we go, we go, we not, we not finished with this Viewmaster. And I told you that we're not gonna be finished with this Viewmaster shit. Cause it don't, it's not that easy. We ain't, ain't getting away that easy with it. Cause we went through some shit with this thing. We did. You have people. You have kids that were heavy handed. They use your view mask. And they push it all the way down. And let it go. And the thing pop back up. And you tell them don't do that. Don't do that. Cause you're going to break it. And they just didn't know how to be careful with it. And so forth. So they take the, the film there. The slides. And bend them. They bend them, and then when you try to put it in, they can't go in because they got bent. And so he had destructive kids and all these things instilled in us anger. But at the same time, that was a good thing because we knew the difference between the value of something so immaculate. Like the viewmaster that you can actually take, put in your eyes, and the whole planet Earth disappear. Now you're like in a movie theater. Seeing the screen and all. And then they, you didn't even light bulb. You didn't need a light bulb. Because in back of the view mask. It reflected the light that's outside. That gave it light. Kind of like solar. In back of the view mask. Kind of like solar. But not solar. It just got its light from other attributes. So if you went in the dark view. In the dark room. Everything in the view mask was dark. But if you go out in the, in the light. It's light because it reflected the light from the back of the view mask. It reflected like solar. So that made it very unique that you didn't have a light bulb, but it was lit up. I mean, the whole thing about the view master is it is a master. That's a, it's a view master. I mean, no, I mean that's I, I guess that's why they call it a view master. I mean, far as viewing, it was a master because it was a mystery of how it was made and created. It didn't need a light bulb, and da, da, da. some of them did need a light bulb. Now that brings us to this right here. Now I had one of them. In my house, I had one of them. That came in one of those bags in the thrift store. Those toy bags I spoke about. That came, that right there, that fucking thing right there. Came in one of the bags. The light bulb broke. And my parents never got another light bulb for it. So it went to waste. And that pisses me. I mean, I, if y'all know the history between little Rashid and that machine right there. You would say, Rashid, you got to be kidding me. But that's how much I wanted a light bulb for this. I tried every goddamn thing. I took the light bulb out of the machine, gave it to my mother. Rashid, I got the money for it. She didn't have no money to get it. They just didn't get it. And, my, and the whole machine was good. 
I carried the light bulb with me every fucking where, dude. Until I came across it. I forgot what... You know, it was one of those little light bulbs. Like the side, like the half, like um, quarter of your finger. Your middle finger. Like quarter. It was a small... In other words, a small light bulb. Small light bulb. They sold them in a supermarket. I came across them in a supermarket. The bitch still ain't good. I mean, she's just a rule. Just... Ah, uh, just fucking... You know, but the point of the matter is that right there projects off your wall. Now that had a light bulb in it that when you turned it on, it projects those slides on the wall. They were unique. They were um, very good to have. They were very um, interesting to have. And the fact is we had one, but the light bulb went out. Made me a really, really unhappy camper it just made me really fucking unhappy dude. and I I you know I, I stayed in the house a lot and I used to just walk around wishing that I had that you know that I had uh, that thing working you know it, it's just a shame something like that should go to waste it just don't make no sense that something like that should go to waste just because you don't have a goddamn light bulb but that's what I went through very uh, upset. Very upsetting. Well, what I would have liked if somebody would have came home with this kit right here like that. I would have lost my goddamn mind. Now, that one comes with everything. You actually could go out and get the whole kit for the Viewmaster. Now, as I'm talking about these things, do you see a connection between social media and this right here? You cannot deny or disagree. That is not some kind of connection between social media and this right here. It's impossible for you to sit up and say you can't, you, 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 don't, you disagree with me. It's impossible. We are talking about an avenue which you can look in to see something, to be entertained. If you want movement, they had these projections. Now this is from Fisher Price. And y'all remember these. You can't see a connection between social media and something like that right there, that Fisher Price thing. Now, you go out and buy these cartridges. Now, this is for the Fisher, Fisher Price the cartridges that you put the different cartridges in, and you twist that on the side of it, and inside. It was a movie that ran like it wasn't a slide like the Viewmaster. It actually played like a film inside. Now they were kind of expensive, but they were very ador. They were adorable, meaning you could take. See, you take a Viewmaster and drop it down the steps. It will break. Anything from Fisher Price. Didn't break. I don't give. A, I don't know what kind of plastic they used, cause back then fiberglass was hot back in the seventies. I mean, fiberglass was the shit back in the seventies. I don't know how much how valuable fiberglass is, or if there's any fiberglass today that's used. But in the seventies, fiberglass was the main thing people talked about, cause it was some durable glass. It's a type of glass. It was fiber. Now these few masters, you can drop down the steps and they will break. But them Fisher Price, anything from Fisher Price, if you throw it way up in the air and it hit the ground, not a fucking scratch on it. We and today, that's one of the biggest mysteries that um, that that we carry around with us. That's from Fisher Price because they shit. I mean, is now these the reason why I say that because they're from Fisher Price. These slides, right? These this film projector right here that you put up to your eye. You hold it in your hand with the with the um, knob, with the grip under it. Put it up to your eye and you twist the circle and inside it. You see a film. Now what gets me about that is that you got to squint out of one eye. You only can see it out of one eye. It would be cool to have it out of both eyes. But for some reason, it wasn't out of both eyes. It was out of just one eye. So that's the difference between a Viewmaster and his Fisher-Price uh, movie projectors. Yeah, well, you had to squint. 
you had to squint to see it. You had to, like one eye you had to stay shut, and the other eye. So you was watching it out of one eye. But I'm just saying, wouldn't it be amazing if you watched it out of both? If they just made it like the Viewmaster, where they just had two eyes and you turn. I don't think it's such thing as that. No, I don't think I never seen it. Baby, I never seen it. I never seen it. And that would just be amazing to to have. But you squint out of one eye, but you never complain because what you were seeing was amazing shit. And you could carry this around with you. It's like a movie projector. So you go on a camping trip. You go on a camping trip or whatever. Go to school or whatever. And you have that in the bag. You pull it out. And you start looking at it and looking at it. And while you're twisting your hand looking at this real movie cartoon. Mostly it's cartoon. Looking at it. Twisting. You don't see a difference between a cell phone and that right there. See. That's a form of technology right here. The view. What I'm trying to say is, you'll be surprised where the cell phone came from. Because it's not one person. You, I mean, it's, I mean, you try to find out who invented the internet. You're going to go to somebody different. <coughs> you go to somebody different. And that person is linked on to somebody different. And it's never one person like, um, out like, um, the pe who read it, peanut butter, the George the Carver guy. George watched the car with a peanut butter thing. There's never one person like that. It's always, you know. But it's never American. You see. So when you when you look at it, you cannot deny like all ta all of you'd be surprised where it came from, guys. This if this um social media thing because it's still a mystery to me. I mean we have something so unique like this man. It's unfucking real that we have this. It's unfucking real. And the thing is, you gotta know how to use it. You gotta know what you're doing with it. It's like a new way of communicating. But then when you look back in the 70s, well look at this right here, man. With these slides and everything. see these are ideas that was here first. And that's why I'm about to come on here and do this right here like last time. And when you look at this, um, these images right here, I'm going to make my animation. This is my main motivation besides Disney because Disney is the my number one. Yeah, that's our top, that's our top motivator right there because without Disney, I, I wouldn't be really, I wouldn't have nobody really look up. To, I mean, I'll, I look up to Hannah Barbera and I look up to, um, uh, uh, um, Hanna Barbera, which does Yogi Bear, um, Huckleberry Hound. Then I look at Warner Brothers. I look at Fritz Freeling. Fritz Freeling, he does Bugs Bunny cartoons. He does Warner Brothers cartoons. Then it's Harvey Toons. And Mr. Harvey does Cast with a Friendly Ghost, uh, Hot Devil, The Devil. So you got to know your animators and shit. So I look up to them also. But Disney, it will always be king to me. You know. It will always be king to me. For some reason. It, Disney will always be king to me. And I want to. And, I, and, I, and this rabbit right here. See. I am going to. Make something with this rabbit right here. Because I don't like nothing to go to. I mean, I do this animation. When I was younger. That's all I did was animation, animation. I let shit go to waste. I made comic books when I was a child and gave them. I had a crush on my teacher. No, not that teacher who did that shit to me. Not that teacher. The other teacher. I was in junior high school, and I made. I was making her comic books like every every week. I was making her different comic book because I liked it, and I know she said she liked the character that I created. I don't want to talk about it because it's personal and my, my kids a lot of personal stuff I'll share with social media guys but I, I created this character my teacher liked this I always made a story and gave it to her I, I made her a book I was making her books and giving her all these books out I, I mean I really made she liked them she liked these books she always took them and she liked them um she's so appreciated I had the biggest crush on her I mean the really biggest crush on her too man I mean I really loved her I really did. I was 12 years old. 
I was 11 or 12 years old, and I had the biggest crush on her, and now I'm almost 50 years old, and I'm a great motherfucking thing. If you ask me today, did I know what I, 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 and nothing ain't really happened between, but I loved her so much, man. I don't regret shit. I loved her, and she liked me, and she was a teacher, and, oh man. And, and I used to make it these books. But the point I'm trying to make is a lot of characters that I made when I was younger went to waste because I never really did anything with them, even though I got a lot of awards in school. I mean, every year I got an award. That's not, I mean, as soon as they got to the art thing, then my teacher always made me sit on the end. Right? She sit on the end because this is the art assembly, and they're going to call you on stage again. I knew, I knew the routine and shit, so I didn't really give a shit. I really didn't care. So, okay. I sat on the end and I went up there and got my water and so forth like that. And, 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 but the thing I'm trying to make is the characters went to waste. I never really did nothing unless I'm doing something with my teacher or something like that. Or my teacher still in my artwork hanging it up in the classroom and I was a pain in the ass. So I feel a certain way about letting my characters go to waste. So now I did this show right here and I laid, and me and my kids, my baby, we named it Lucky Rabbit. That's the name of this rabbit right here, Lucky Rabbit. And as you can see, I'm trying to make it different than animation that y'all see normally. See, my animation goes back. i have like, for instance, I'll, I'll give you an example. I'll get, oh, Jesus. I'll give you an example. Did you see, I'll give you an example. Did you see Godzilla 200, 2000 or some shit? He looks like a... A penis with a mouth open. He does. I ain't gonna, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't lie to you. I don't give a fuck about you. I mean, not like that, but I don't, I don't care. I don't know y'all. I don't care. He looks like a dick. He like a penis. He looks like a penis. A black man's penis. That's he looks like. A black nigga's penis. He looks like a black man's penis. Because he had... Now, look at the old Godzilla. The old... I'm talking with Gazuki. Where he was blowing these circles out of his fucking mouth and shit. Godzuki. Alright. Now look at the new Godzilla. He looks like a black man's penis. And I don't like black. I don't look at black man's penis. Like, and that's what he looks like. Like a black man. A burnt black man's penis. Because he got no face features. He got nothing. Okay. The, 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 it was a disgrace. How they fucked up God. And I know those Japs said something about it. I know the Japanese said something about it. He said America. They fucked up our Godzilla. Look at this. Look like a black man's penis up there screaming and hollering, walking down the street. And they fucked up Godzilla, dude. Look like a black man's dick. Look like a black man's dick. Looks like a black man's dick. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Look like a black man's dick. That was a disgrace what they did to Godzilla, dude. You couldn't even see. I mean, he had no cheekbones. They don't make, um, you know what I'm going to say, right? They don't make their monsters and so forth the way. I see. I stick to the old shit. See that rabbit y'all looking at? See, I stick to the old shit. You see, now they don't have no eyes. Now they have no. They have nothing. You know, they just fuck up their characters now. They don't. Make them like Rashid no more. I make my shit like the seventies, and I'm a. I am do not know why they do this shit like that. I don't know. I don't know. But you got no real animations that look good. And everybody's ugly now in animation. If you take notice, everybody's ugly. There's no more cuteness in animation no more. Everybody's fucking ugly. All right. See all of these things I don't do, and that's another thing that y'all notice about my animation. That is this cuteness in it. You don't see cuteness in animation no more. For some reason. It's just, it's just so. I'm going to make, I want to make my animation like viewers. I'm going to stick to the same. In other words, what I'm trying to tell you guys is the missing puzzle, the missing, li the missing link is the fact that I want to stick to the 70s when it comes to animation. Because you can see the faces. They don't look like black people penis. They private parts. They look like black people penis. They private parts. And you can see their faces. And that's a beautiful thing. They don't look like fuck why would you why are you why did you it's like somebody took Godzilla and cut the top part of his head off. 
heal them and let them walk around and shit fighting. Why would you do? Why you want your shit to look fucked up like that? Why can't you just have big eyes, big nose? See, they don't want stuff like that no more. You won't find characters like that no more. You won't. And that's why Roger Rabbit ain't going no fucking way. They let him go no ways. And y'all know Roger Rabbit's funny to Bugs Buddy. He was the ultimate rabbit. I couldn't wait to see more of his. Yeah, baby. And you know, I, we talked about that. I said, now I can't wait to see more of Roger Rabbit. He going to beat Bugs Buddy. And Roger Rabbit got flushed right down the toilet. They don't want to do nothing. They don't want. They don't know talent. Something wrong with them. And that's why I want to do my own stuff. That's another. You know, I want to do my own stuff. I've I've had to open up my own company and do my own thing because I don't their taste I don't understand it. How could Roger Rabbit go down a drain? I can't. Understand. Stupid as he is, funny as he is, he he went the way stoop. I can't figure that out. I can't figure that one. See, shit like that's what I'm talking about. See, some some things make you scratch your head a little too hard. That's one of them. Watching Roger Rabbit go to waste. I can't fi fucking figure that one out. But, but yeah, it's still. That's the world we live in. You're not going to see it around here. Okay. There is a distinct familiarization with social media interview master to me now some people still may disagree because I'm Rashid Rashid I'm disagreeing with you because you are Rashid but I but they know I'm right though. they know I'm right before children walking around with these cell phones they was looking at the view master okay and beside the view master there was nothing else unless they could draw pictures yeah that's about to say unless they could draw pictures so they can say what they want to say, but it still holds out. And these few masters came in all kind of storytelling, all kind of stories. Mighty Mouse, and like you saw Mighty Mouse and all this stuff like that. I wanted to find out. See, that's when you thought about white people and shit. That's where white people came from. That's where white people came from. White people came from. That view master right there when you saw that. That's when I thought about white people for some reason. I said that's white people stuff. They I ain't because I mean I in the projects when I looked at that right there, I said there's no way in this Jesus Christ universe I'ma come across that and shit. Either niggas gonna punch a hole in the speaker or I'm just never gonna and I was right. See, that's only a white people. I don't even know white people had it. I don't even know if they had it. It came in a barrel. That right there came in this little barrel. And it actually talked. It actually talked. The the slides actually talked while you looked at the um the reel. I don't even know what it sound like to this day. Now, of course, I can go now. Thanks to social media. Hey, we can find out shit, you know. But to this day, I don't even know what that sounds like. I would like to have know what that sound like, but I'm not. I'm not gonna. No, I, I got another. I got another idea. Cause see, when we get situated, I'm gonna be an Amazon ordering motherfucker. If it ain't Amazon, it's gonna be some other shit. Cause I'm ordering every fucking thing. I'm not now, cause I ain't got my house right now. But later on, I'm gonna be an Amazon. I'm whatever. It ain't gonna be just Amazon, but I'm gonna be ordering motherfucker, man. Cause I'm getting all this shit, all of it, all of it. I want all my shit back, all of it from childhood. All of it. All the way down to the Disney soap I had. The Walt Disney soap that you can make. Then we had this kit thing that came from the thrift store that you can make soap. Walt Disney soap. I had Tinkerbell. I had Tinkerbell and Pinocchio was my favorite. Was the characters that I had a lot of. Tinkerbell and Pinocchio. Especially Pinocchio. Yeah, my mother. And I like Pinocchio because I wanted to be a real boy and shit like that. I was a, I was a different boy. And, and, and Pinocchio fit. And shit, and I they go all my fucking ass now. I'm older, and they was all laughing at me and shit. Cause I like, I'm give Rashid Pinocchio, cause you know, yeah, but they go all kiss my ass, so I don't care. I like Pinocchio anyway, I really don't give a shit. Dude. So the joke's on them, I don't give a fuck about it. I'm different now, and I'm different on social media. And this show right here, you ain't gonna find no shit like this on no damn social media. Thing. This is only here on RV tape, you know. I'm, let's keep it real. I don't give a fuck about it. They can kiss my ass. And I don't want to get. I don't want to say get rude. 
you know all that. Don't don't piss me. Don't play with my man. Don't don't do that, y'all. That's all I mean it. Stop playing. Stop don't 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 do that. Don't do that. I ain't in the mood. Uh, guys, I'm not in the mood. Okay. Don't don't pull me in that direction. I mean it. Cause they stupid asses. So anyway, we want to say say thank you to Lucky Rabbit for helping us out. Distinguish the difference between the Viewmaster and social media. Even that was very hard to do. This is this is very difficult difficult to do. The difference. What do you mean the difference between the Viewmaster and social media? I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about what they have in common. I don't want to talk about the because if you talk about what the different oh oh social media social media you talking but you can't talk to nobody in a viewmaster and viewmaster you look only social media you can't look only you look in here it's not how you saying the difference that's not what I'm saying I'm saying what do they have in common that's what I'm talking what they have in common I ain't talking about what do you think I'm stupid or something you think I'm you think it's just going on around here I ain't say that I say what do they have in common what do they have in common that's what I said. That's all I'm saying now. I got a manhood. Don't fuck with it. What is it, girl? Yeah. Right? That's what I'm saying, right? That's what I'm saying. Man, she barking. She understand what I'm cool. She understand where I'm coming from. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling these people on social media that. You ain't got to bark. I know. That's what I'm saying. They're right. That's what I'm saying. Cause they try. They trying to play me. They trying to see. Here we go. No, baby, it's okay. Everything alright. But here we go and shit. I ain't say. I ain't say that. I say what they got. What they have in common. That's what I'm saying. They trying to play around and shit. So, um, I thought about white people when they came to that talk with them. I don't know if any white people had that, but I knew that it, you had to have money to have that. The few man said they could talk with the speaker on it. Because I knew I wasn't going to come across some shit like that. And I knew, you know, anything that's out of my reach too much, I don't really dwell on it. And that was one of the things right there. I just thought, that's that's the rich people got that. Because I can't get that. But that's how much the Viewmaster grew out. You know, that's how it grew out. So anyway, say bye-bye to Lucky Rabbit. Maybe he'll come on the next Viewmaster show. And maybe I'll fix him up some more and for the next show. Because we ain't finished with this so this um, Viewmaster thing yet. This is our second Viewmaster show. This is the second one. Yeah. I just think it's time for a Viewmaster show. So guys, um, I guess that's the end of this right here. The Viewmaster, I'm not going to say it beat social media, but the Viewmaster in social media could be mother and father. I mean, mother and daughter. Mother and daughter. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't going to say uh, uh, father and son because they too stupid. They go, they gorillas. They take it and, sl and slam and take the Viewmaster and slam it down. And, and they don't know how to look at it. They don't know how to look at it. They don't know, they don't know how to uh, look, hold nothing. Slamming my shit down like that, acting stupid. So I say mother and daughter, and I'll leave it like that. And thank, stay around my Google page for more watching content. And thank y'all for coming by. And stop the laughing, and I'll see y'all next time on another show. Goodbye. This has been an RVT Rashid's video to social media television production. Can somebody give these girls some socks? Good girl.
This program was brought to you by Rashid's Cyber Rock Films in conjunction with YouTube and Google Plus and social media plug out. It's all about change, real change. Peace. Up uh, next on RVT, Rashid's Video Tube, it's the Rashid and Jan Show. Following that is Rashid Cyber Tube. It's that season of all seasons once again. And as Shison lingers on, let us share and care and enjoy amazing Rashid entertainment that's found only here on RVT, where it's Rashid all the time.